With little information known about the story of Dying Light 2, you kind of have to wonder how everything got to this point in the game's world to begin with. From the ending of the following, though not 15 years later, a lot has happened in that time frame, I assume leaving open many possibilities for us to witness in Dying Light 2. One of the more recurring questions in the community has always been what ending of Dying Light's the following was canon. Many speculate that it makes no sense for it to be the nuke ending since the virus would have been annihilated, or at least that's what we think. But for this video, we'll be treating the ending with Crane where he finally makes his escape out of Haran, but turns into a volatile as the canon ending. This way, we can theorize what could have happened to Kyle Crane in the ending of the following with his new infected form, and how that could have led to the events of Dying Light 2. During the final events of the following, you're given the choice to sacrifice all of Haran or fight against the mother's wishes. But before this, she monologues about the inevitable demise of humanity if Haran were to continue to exist and how Crane is going to become the same as her. She also spouts off about how she became a sentient version of the Volatile through military experiments with the use of bioweapons in the form of gas and liquid blue vials, which the mother holds against Crane in this scene. Choosing the not new Quran, she forces you to drink the bioweapon, and a final fight commences. You fight the mother to her death, and then stride your way into the outside of Haran, where the bioweapon continues to take effect on the body until you transform into what I think is a sentient volatile like the mother. The final thing we see is a family casually relaxing in the park as they see Kyle Crane transform into a sentient form. Another possibility is that Crane actually transforms into the Night Hunter in this scene that we play with in the Be the Zombie game mode. Which in my eyes just doesn't seem like the route Teclan will go with this since, well, the Night Hunter is in Haran and Crane is outside the walls, now in the free open lands to do as he pleases. Which is clearly caused the end of humanity by the looks of Dying Light 2. If Crane kept his mindset in his sentient form, then after his escape, he surely would have had some sort of motive to decide to end humanity. But since it was almost night, he maybe not would have been able to control the bloodthirst and massacred anyone in his sight. Like those kids. I mean, if we do see Kyle Crane again in Dying Light 2, then he probably did some fucked up shit to probably get there, so I wouldn't be surprised. Another option is Crane now in the outside world is able to control his volatile senses, so he settles down where no one will find him, but Horan still remains intact and full of infected. Maybe down the line, once Crane is out of the spotlight, somehow the virus makes its way out of Haran, or maybe Haran does get nuked by the Ministry of Defense like they planned, leaving Kyle Crane the last living form of the infected. But either way, somehow the virus spreads and the whole world gets infected, which is pretty clear by seeing the events of Dying Light 2. Personally, I do think Crane is responsible for the downfall of humanity in some way, and at the time the following, there's no other forms of defected outside the walls, which is seen by how lively the world is outside with buses and people seeing all around. There is a chance though, like for everything else, that Kyle Crane turns into a normal volatile and casually slaughters all the people around and transforms them into more of his kind. If so, then the possibility of us seeing Kyle Crane physically die in Light 2 just isn't likely. But if he were to be a sentient volatile and keep his same personality, I can see ourselves coming across older sentient Kyle in some odd but fun scenarios, and with his wittiness, I think it'd be really fun fan service. Maybe Kyle's worshipped by a group of survivors like the mother and they feed him humans so he can remain in his form without the urge to attack others. I do think there's a small possibility Kyle Crane can be in Dying Light 2, and it could be anything from a small reference in a newspaper to him playing a major role in the story. It's time to go off the rails for a minute, but in some way, Haran has a connection to Dying Light 2, with Aiden also connected to it, since in this photo he's wearing pants with Haran printed on the side. Aiden seems to be American, not holding any bit of a Turkish accent, so it isn't likely he was born in Haran. I don't think it would make sense for him to be visiting there either, so thinking of how Aiden could be connected to Haran leaves me a little confused. But if you want, chime in and comment your theories down below. For all we know, this image, which I believe was released around 2018 to 2019, doesn't matter at all and was just early concept images to promote the game. Things like this happen a lot in development as many changes always occur throughout the process. So this could be the case, but I don't buy it. I think Aiden will be connected to Haran in some way, we just don't know for sure yet. I do think it would be possible for someone to travel from Turkey to Europe in the apocalypse if they have the abilities. Aiden seems to be competent enough to take on these tasks as his parkour and combat abilities have a lot to show for it. With this small of a travel distance and during the state of the apocalypse, Kyle couldn't make his way to where we see Aiden, but the city Aiden is in might be in quarantine as well. So much can happen with this game and hopefully it's significantly connected to the first with lots of surprises for those original fans. I think this game really has a solid chance of doing these things right, it's just Techland needs to nail it down and go all the way. We all know they have the talent, so I just hope they make a compelling story that we'll all remember for years on. 
But anyways, that's all the theorizing I'm gonna do today. I do think we'll get some sort of reference to Kyle, but actually hearing his voice again doesn't seem like it'd be likely, but I don't know. If you want, feel free to go ahead and let me know what you think down below. I always read the comments. But that's all we have to talk about today, so thanks for watching. Come stop by next time.